It's kind of, it's just weird going back to this because it's like, I'm used to a lot of the, uh... Uh, made it a lot uh, easier. The the combat for one was made a lot better in Room Factory Three. Yeah, I love the combat in Room Factory Three. It's fun. It was what like kind of established like the combat system, or at least. Yeah, basically because before it was just this very static animation every time. Mm -hmm. I don't really. Is there a is there an optimal way to go, or is it basically just like pick whatever you want? this game is pacing um, do you, you can do just do whatever you want as long as you got you gain enough income because most of the things that you'll want eh, cost a lot of money all right yeah I've noticed that I think if I sell some stuff I can afford to get a monster barn which I want to get one so I, I forget what exactly monsters are in there but I don't think there's anything that I can get for uh, to like start getting materials from them though like I don't think there were any and it's only I think I may be wrong, but it's really only specific monsters that give specific uh, uh, materials. Like, you know, the chicken monster gives you the eggs, the, eggs, the cow, the, the basic uh, fodder. The yeah. Some give specific stuff. Uh, in this game, is there the whole uh, monster work for you gimmick? It was implemented in this game. Okay. Um, I may be wrong though, but it, I think it's also because since Room Factory 1 is the game, the game I, uh, it was way, way long ago, so my memory over things here is really, really, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, far right. away. Kinda, yeah, I don't blame you, but I appreciate any help that I can get. But I just need to, I need money. <laughs> That's, I'm broke. And by broke, I mean I have like a decent amount of gold, but I need more because things are expensive. The battle axe is 8k. Oh damn! Uh, I'm looking through my my old save file. Yeah, the monsters will help you like water um, uh, the field, uh, your fields, or pull out weeds. All right, cool. Um, was it 1k gold for a monster barn? I gotta go check. Except the store's probably not open yet. Fuck. Let me check. Yeah. It takes about two hours before they actually open. Yeah. Wait, did that say ten? Nine. Oh, okay. It's about to be open anyway. I need to go check that. Uh, I can sell some stuff that I have. But I don't... Like, I know random weeds will... Are fine, but, like, I don't know if... I don't know when I'm getting, like, any of the crafting things in this game. To where I can actually start making things on my own. You need to talk to Ivan, who only sells stuff during uh, holidays. Oh, okay. He'll be he'll be around close to the mayor's house, and but his selection of items that he sells is more random. Ooh, okay. So and should you can also get. Mm -hmm. uh, should I be saving my grasses and stuff then? These are unnecessary. The grasses are for specific um, beverages or uh, yeah, potions. Yeah, for specific beverages uh, like the the herb tea. Um, but they're not really essential. All right. Well, they're not going to get me much money anyway, so I probably shouldn't sell them. That way, I can just have them on hand. Like Ivan will sell you shelves and a refrigerator, and you can just store them there. It yeah. just takes a while. I forgot I bought a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is more for when you need to sleep in the dungeon. Yeah, that way you can, uh, you're at full health at, like, a boss or something. Um, okay, I can probably go to cameras now, yeah, okay. Now, it begs the question, though, if I should be saving up for, like, uh, Monster Barn first, or if I should be going for, uh, going for the items that Ivan sells. 1,000 gold, I'm... I don't have that much. It's, it's a really big grind in this game, actually, now that I think about it. It's yeah, a, I'm, I'm, being honest, this is probably the longest game more because of how difficult it... Not difficult, but how long things take to do. Yeah, well, this game is probably, like... I wouldn't say the closest in terms of, like, uh, Room Factory, but, like... Uh... But, like, just in terms of the grind, almost, aspect of it, to where you're like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this, and it's going it's going to be an investment and take a long time. 
Because, like, uh, for, the, for, like, a large part of uh, things like Green Factory 3 or 4, I want to say, you can ignore, like, a lot of things. You can ignore farming a lot for the most part, but I don't think, like, like that's an option in this game. You can't really do that in this game. Because most of your early game income to mid game is solely is solely farming. Actually, I think most of your money, no matter what point you are, is due, is due to farming. All right. Well, that, that's fine. That's I kind of like it a little bit more that way because I don't really and like I. There's something to be said about enjoying when the game just like lets you go ahead and like go wild and go and tackle all the dungeons like as fast as you want, and you can probably do it because like all you're gonna need is the. Uh, all you're gonna need is like a good weapon and some good armor and stuff and then you're set but like it's nice to be able to have like more relaxing experience and be like hey you need to go do this this and this yeah, um it's kind of funny because um thinking about room factory 2 for a second that's basically what you can do but you need the the things that are making you wait is because you need to get married because of the second generation that yeah. you go i forgot about that gimmick Also, I know that uh, wood can be kind of hard to come by in this game, or at least lumber. Um, most of the wood you either get is through uh, the fields and dungeons. If you don't, if you don't like tend to them, or just the lumber inside your fields, and if you just leave them there. All right. Part is just upgrading the axe. Mm hmm. Uh, you know how good it's gonna feel once I get out of this game and be able to go to, like, one of the newer games, though? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be a real relief. Mm hmm Like, I don't have a problem with the slow pace of this game. I love Harvest Moon. It's just, like, when I was introduced to Rune Factory, I started with, uh, Tides of Destiny. <laughs> Which is, like... not a problem. Uh, I started, uh, I started with Frontier. It's and... not... Married. I still haven't played Rune Factory, but I love Harvest Moon. Yeah, it's, Rune Factory's fun. But, uh... I don't have a problem with, uh... What was I trying to say? I completely forgot. Oh, no, 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 no. There is no problem with starting with Tides of Destiny. It's just, like, Tides of Destiny is kind of the black sheep of the franchise anyway, because, like, it's so battle-focused. It's very different, and... Um, I, I don't know. I, I will agree that I don't think... Overall, Tides of Destiny made a good impression on the fan base. Yeah, it definitely. I think it's the black sheep of the series. I don't. I like the game. I think it's fun to play. I like the. Uh, I like the things it introduced, like uh, character-specific events and stuff like that. Because well, that was a thing in three, but it was like more toned down. Whereas like Tides of Destiny had like scenes laid out for it when you reached the new uh, affection level, which I liked. And also because in Room Factory 1, 2, and 3, I think, all, all, most of the events you're going to watch are because you selected, like, in the bulletin board, mm -hmm. and then they happen. Yeah. Which Harvest Moons have I played? I played, uh, I haven't played that many, actually. I played Back to Nature. I played, uh, fuck, which one was it? Uh... The GameCube game, the first one, not the not the like more chip, not the like uh, cell shaded one. Or, or oh, Wonderful Life, that's what it was. Uh, SNES and Wonderful Life. SNES seemed fine. It was just a kind of like old. It's kind of like this game is. Do I have money? Is a. Uh, I wonder if the system in this. I said this earlier, but I'm wondering if the system in this game for the for the shipping box is if. Is it time-based, or is it, like, day-based? Um, I think it's time-based. But the thing is that since you you gain the money so late, as in, like, 12 p.m., it's better that you just sleep it off. Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably right. I don't think there's anything I can do left in this day, anyway. Besides, do I have more lumber I can chop? No, I don't. Oh, shit. Alright. Yeah, and Wonderful Life, your wife can divorce you, and that's a game over. Hey. 
Hey Mark, you've been like you've been spending way too much time in the barn. Like Sorry. you need to take care of your family. <laughs> you fuck one sheep, and suddenly you're the sheep. <laughs> it's fucker. all over. I think I'm doing things right. I got pump. I I think those are pumpkins. Uh, th or for for the most part, if you the, the date, uh, it's better not to go like really fast in this game because things unlock very slowly, so you can take your time. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's more it's more of a relaxing Rune Factory compared to like the more action based. Came later on. Yeah. Fucking Rune Factory Three. I'm a sh I'm a talking sheep, and I'm gonna go fight a dragon. Adios. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, it was pro it was probably to help the longevity of the game too. Is where like kind of a beginner trap a little bit, but it made it to where like, hey, through all these game overs, you're learning. But I'm not saying that's like necessarily good design, but it's something. It ha it's it has its charms, I guess. Yeah, I'm guessing since this was like the first foray into this area, uh, like com combining. Uh, farming simulator with uh, combat, it took a while. To yeah. Get all the Trial and error can work sometimes. Alright, fair enough. I've always me meant to play the Super Nintendo Harvest Moon. It was on the, uh. No, not the tool I wanted. It was on the Wii Shop as a virtual console, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was on the Wii U Shop. We used shop had friends of Mineral Town, and I think that was it. That seems. Yeah, new friends of Mineral Town. Oh, new new friends. Okay, so you had you had the choice between playing as a girl or a boy in Mineral Town. More friends of Mineral Town. There it is. Yeah. Damn it! I don't know if this is in. I don't know if I just didn't take advantage of this, or if I, like, completely forgot that this is an, like, this was an option in Rune Factory, like, 3, of selecting what you want to do on the, uh, touchscreen, because I love this. Uh, in Rune Factory, uh, 1? Like, yeah, well, what I'm doing in Rune Factory 1, like, where I'm selecting a tile and, uh, being able to just go ahead and select like the tile of nine that I was doing to water it. I love that shit. It makes things convenient. And I just checked because, um, let me see. There's a requirement for entering the second dungeon as a whole, and I think you need to till like 30 fields inside the Carmite Cave, which is where you are right now. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'll do that. At some point, that's probably because the, all that's in there are like bugs and the orcs and everything, or I don't I don't know the proper names of the monsters, like the um, really basic fodder it. that isn't gonna get me anything. <laughs> Come on in. I think they all have pretty generic names. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, I'm a bit short on funds. What the fuck? God damn it! What did I sell? Sex scan, probably. Ooh, actually, I can sell these cheap cloths, but I don't know if it'll be worth it. Oh, wait, I'll just send, sell the bamboo sprout. There we go. That'll give me some, some easy money. Why does the bamboo sprout sell for so much? I guess I can do that with my energy today, anyway. Not really anything else that I can do. Thanks for selling for so little weeds. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting, but oh well. I don't know yeah. where do I get a pickaxe. I'm gonna start mining materials. Oh, yeah. Um, you you do you do get the hammer in the second dungeon, but you need to access the second dungeon first. Yep. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just till these fields. Ow. 
I, I think Leo gives you gives you the hammer. All right. When do I get access to like the different uh, crafting stations, like uh, to make accessories, armor, weapons, uh, cooking, and uh, like? Uh, that's basically all eyes. And... Oh really? Okay. There is going to be a lot of fourth law planning. Because if I'm kind of fucked if I, Ivan comes on holiday and I have no money whatsoever. Oh well. Actually, I should probably wait on the barn. Because it's going to be more useful to see what Ivan has. Probably. I think I'm doing this. I think there's another option that you can do. Maybe. Is, is, is there a guy named Newman that you know? Uh, Newman is the dude who gave me the the monster brush, I think. I know where he is. He's the one that works the shop and is, like, kind of flirting with the, uh, the chick on the shore. Oh, uh, then, yeah, Newman, I think, is the one that gives that expands your house so you can have more, you can put your forging stuff. Your pharmacy, so you can make your own potions, and but the cooking stuff is all Ivan. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Newman then. Giving up my current lifestyle to become a farmer. Yep. Well, my current my current lifestyle was a bit too uh, self-destructive, I want to say, where I was just you know killing myself in conquest over and over again. So might as well. You need a break. Yeah. You need to I... relax before you go back. Basically. Whoa. Come to buy some. Uh, let me see. Extend my house. You gotta make your house bigger. It's the only way you'll be able to get a wife and you'll have to furnish it too. If you don't splurge on a big double bed, who will want to marry you? 2,000 pieces of wood and 200 gold. 200,000 gold. Yeah, I saw your Facebook. Oh my god. I just need a little bit more money, aka 19,000. 19 <laughs> 199,000 yeah. more to go. Jesus. You can tell, you can tell that Nate, uh, the, the protagonist, was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, my pad costs like $10. Oh, uh, the, the, the thing I hate is that he's asking you for the wood, too. Yeah, that's a lot of wood. I don't think I have that much. Like, I know I don't have that much. How much do I have? Not much. That's the answer, but... Oh, 120, that's not too bad. I only have to go and <laughs> get, like, 1,900 and more. Jesus. To be fair, like, all the harvest- all the recent Harvest Moon games, like, have made you, like, an interior designer for the entire village. Like, yeah. you can put the house where you want them to be. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to, I don't want to make my own little village. Just I, I'll make, I'll, I'll give you the materials, but place them yourself. Yeah. I have no, I have no skill as an interior designer. Fucking cross. Is that his name from a uh, frontier? The really. Uh... Uh, you mean the long-haired guy who's yeah. always in his house? Yeah. Yeah. He's actually a pretty cool guy, it's more that he's hiding for a reason. Well, yeah, I, I got kind of spoiled on that to where he was like a dude in the military or something. Sex Empire. Oh, the okay. CC's Empire. Whatever it's called. Um, um, he's hiding, and you know that blue haired dude that, that's a huge jerk to you when he comes into the village? Yeah, the guy that comes to summer, yeah, and during summer, or autumn or the something. The thing is, he thinks you're cross. Hey. <laughs> but it, and so that's why he's such a huge jerk to you. So you, uh, so he wants you to leave, to leave the villagers alone. But he got the wrong guy. Hey. Even though Cross lives right next to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a dick. He just messes up your farm. I forgot. I brings a golem into your farm, and the golem just uh, just just uh, self destructs. Hey. Yeah. And, and since it self-destructs, your fields are like torn apart. Any crops you had at that moment are just uh, disappeared forever. That's so bad. 
Uh, I got pissed. It only happens if you try to make friends with him. Oh, okay. So, okay, just ignore him completely. I'd rather a tsunami break my, uh, break my farm than a fucking... some random dickhead. Uh, it's... I don't know, it's just kind of a different game than Rune Factory 3. Rune Factory 3 was all about, like... Uh, Rune Factory 3 was a bit more, like, quest and combat oriented than this game. And trust me, Rune Factory 3 did look better. It was a very marginal increase, but trust me, it did. Oh, oh in terms of graphics? Yeah, definitely. In terms of graphics, Rune Factory 3 beats it out, like, a lot, in my opinion. But... Fuck. Can I not use that? Oh, I don't. I probably don't have energy or something. I was like, you sh probably shouldn't kill yourself with this spell. Yeah, because your RP is your energy, and you're wasting your HP to to do the rest of the action. I know. I just wanted to. I wanted to till the okay. till the land, get progress going.